OpenScan Tools has a very efficient image and auto image creation function. As this tutorial is quite long, chapters have been created and are available in the description. Image options are available in the Export tab. It is possible to define a framework with different ratios. This frame delimits the image. You can also choose between portrait or landscape orientation. You can choose a file format. Please note that the PNG and TIFF formats create a transparent background. You can also change the resolution of the image when you are in perspective mode. If you are in orthographic mode, the output image will be a scaled auto image that you can integrate into CAD software. You must then choose a scale and a number of dots per inch. On the left, the output resolution is calculated automatically. But first, let's create a simple screenshot. It will create an image at the resolution of the viewport and whatever is displayed will be taken into account. The capture does not take into account the frame. It is recommended to deactivate it. To create a simple capture, click on this icon or press the print screen key on your keyboard. The image is automatically saved in the project's screenshot folder. Note that if you switch to full screen mode, the capture will take the entire screen. To switch to full screen, click this icon or press F11. To hide the top banner, click on this icon or on the shortcut N. Let's press the print screen key, then exit full screen mode with Escape or F11. The image was created with the screen definition. Please note, with transparency, the octree structure is visible. Simple screenshot mode will show it. Now, let's move on to high definition images. First, we will create a perspective image. For this example, we will activate transparency and choose color by scan mode. Let's set the transparency to 20% to start. Let's also hide the scanning station's icons. We will use a frame in 3 halves format. Let's give a horizontal resolution of 6000 pixels. The vertical resolution is automatically calculated. On the right, you can also see a tile size option. To put it simply, this option affects how the software fragments the image and then assembles it and makes an HD output. If you have many scanning stations and fairly limited memory, we advise you to stay at 256 or even less. If your configuration is strong enough, you can use a higher value. The lower the value, the less risk of creation failure, but the longer the time will be. This campaign does not have many stations. We will use the value 512. Let's also choose an uncompressed format, for example BMP. Let's create the HD image. The image was saved in the HD Perspective Images folder. We see that it appears darker than on the screen. This is normal because the resolution is much higher than that of the screen. The octree structure is gone because the HD image function calculates the image taking into account all points. We can also see certain areas of white flash appearing. To completely eliminate this white flash, you can deactivate the Contrast Enhancement option. If we recreate the image, the flash has disappeared, but the image seems blander. Personally, I keep the Contrast Enhancement, but I play with the following two parameters, the transparency and the resolution. Let's set a resolution of 10,000 pixels horizontally and create the image. As you can see, the creation is very fast. 
the flash is reduced but there are a lot of very dark areas. At the end of the tutorial we will see how to fix this in a few seconds. If you are used to your scanner, you will get good quality with a few tries. Let's move on to auto images. They require you to be in auto graphic mode. Let's move to the top view and hide the roof by activating the boxes that have been created on it. We will take a 169 format frame better suited to this area. We will choose a scale of 120th and 400 points per inch. The resolution is automatically calculated. Let's create the image. In the Auto Images folder of the project, we find our image as well as a file which provides information. Note, tags and texts also appear. If the text and icons seem too small, you can adjust the size in the View tab. They will appear larger on the screen, but with the output definition they will decrease. By the way, don't forget that you can display the coordinates of the displayed elements, which will be useful for positioning the image in CAD software. We will see in another tutorial a very useful function for images, the viewpoints. They store all rendering and camera information, allowing you to find the settings of your images. Let's finish this tutorial with the tip to correct areas that are too dark. I advise you to use image processing software like GIMP, which is free. In the Colors section, choose Shadows Highlight. In Shadows, increase the value, for example, 80%. We see that the dark areas have been revealed. This software allows you to quickly edit and improve your images. Once your adjustments are complete, you can export the image in various formats. In a very short time, you will be able to produce very beautiful high-definition images.